Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. My name is Stephen Cornett and I'm an urban farmer trying to help as many people learn to grow food naturally as possible, whether for profit or for home. So today I'm going to be talking about a really common question, um, especially beginning gardeners um, and even beginning farmers ask a lot, and that is which way do I orient my garden beds? Now when we're talking about this subject, we need to um, identify where we are in the world. So the, I'm gonna be talking about the Northern Hemisphere, but all these things I'm gonna tell you still apply to the Southern Hemisphere, except the orientation because of where your sun is. So if you do a quick search online, you'll see most recommend that you plant north to south in the Northern Hemisphere. And that's because as you're getting that Southern winter sunlight, that's gonna give you the best sun exposure year round and especially in winter. So this concept is especially more important for people in the Northern latitudes. The higher you go up, the less sunlight you're gonna have in winter. In summer, that kind of equalizes everything. Um, and it's not gonna matter as much. Now, we need to think about some other concepts here because uh, it's not just about the sun and the wind. Because north-south, they also say that it's gonna get a little bit better airflow, which I don't necessarily agree with, agree with because we all are dealing with different wind patterns. Um, yes, a lot of wind is blowing from west to east across the United States, but there's plenty of places where that doesn't happen or a storm comes in or and it blows a different direction. It's not just a, a one size fits all answer. You might be up against a mountain that changes the wind direction. So it's really important that you take into consideration the context of where you're growing. So to me, the questions you should be asking yourself first of how to orientate is obviously yes, sun direction, um, but also what about the other influences? Look, about, look at this fence right here. So the direction that I'm pointing right now, that is south, and the winter sun goes across like this. So that fence will actually shade out the first part of my beds right there. So in hindsight, even though these beds right here, these are run north to south, but in hindsight, I actually think it may have been better for me to run them all east to west, like I did here. That way, one of the issues I had was at the end of these beds here, the yields were very low or almost non-existent. So what would, it would have been a better strategy. Maybe the first two beds there, um, I could have just planted things that don't care. So things like leafy greens, charred kale, salad mix, heads of lettuce. So things that would, would be better for indirect light. And those are some that are very good for that. So if you're growing in, a, in an area that's not a big field or something, then that's the next thing you'd want to consider. Where else are you getting shaded? I'm also getting shaded from that tree and the pecan tree above the chicken coop. So that also causes issues and is something to think about. The next super, super important thing is your slope. If you're growing on flat ground, then the other things I mentioned, that, that's what's important. But if you're on a slope, you'd need to plant perpendicular to the slope. If you're planting down the slope, when water comes by those beds, it's gonna start ripping away soil and pulling that off, and it's gonna destroy your beds over time, versus um, if it's on a slope and it's bed, 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 the rain will actually kind of stop and it'll be almost swale-esque. You could even dig swales in the pathways and put wood chips there to help sink in water. So in that case, the orientation is not gonna matter as much. And in general, especially here in Southern California, you can orient your beds whatever direction. Things are gonna work out fine. I've grown tomatoes east to west, north to south. It's fine, it doesn't matter. So things with that need high um, light intensity for long periods of time, it's not an issue. Now, going into the more northern latitudes, maybe that does become an issue, especially during certain times of year. But from what I've seen from farms around the world, in the end, the decision comes down to these other factors, more so than the north-south being the most ideal. Now, the final thing to consider when orienting your garden beds, and why it doesn't matter so much how you orient them, is how you plant them. So right now, Behind me, this is north, going that way is south. So now let's just think winter sun. The winter sun's gonna come this way at an angle. If I have a tall crop standing right here, it's gonna shade out what's ever behind that. So that's really important to keep in mind. Also your summer crops as well. Depending on the, where the angle of the sun is, certain crops might get shaded out because of where your tallest crops are. 
So thinking about that is also super important when crop planning. Usually the north side is where you want to put your tallest crops and further going south, that's where the shorter crops would be. Now, if you have more space, another way to let in more light if you go east to west is just to make your pathways bigger and a little bit more space in between the rows. Um, and that would allow you to get uh, light a little bit longer, better airflow and all that. Um, so you've got a lot of options when thinking about all these things. So taking all those variables, um, there's even more variables to that you could consider depending on where you live. I may not uh, be able to address them all. But in general, in my opinion, um, for most of the Northern Hemisphere, you could orient them either way. The sunlight is going to be fine for basically any crop that you're going to grow unless you have some certain circumstance. But if you've looked at all the context, you have a and it makes sense, then north-south is gonna be your best bet. So, you know, default to that, but consider everything else as well. All right, everybody, we really hope this is a helpful video for you. This is a pretty important part of planning out your garden or your farm, as it's something permanent that you don't wanna change. So getting this right is pretty important. And I hope kind of showing you uh, one of my mistakes when planning out this area helped you as well, thinking about the shade of the trees, the shade of the fence, and how I could have oriented everything east to west. And I think it might have been a little bit better as far as the sunlight goes and controlling, uh, making better decisions on what crops go where.